Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So someone recommended that I do an infinity pour on a Lazy Susan, and I thought that sounded like tons of fun. So I'm pretty much rushed to do it right away. Um, so underneath here I just have a Lazy Susan. This canvas is being held in place by some nails that are on the sides and also some double-sided tape. I am going to be using my split cups just because I have some leftover paint in here already, so I figure I might as well. And I'm going to be using some really nice bright colors. Let's go ahead and we're definitely using some white. And in these, these leftover paints, I have all kinds of colors. <laughs> That's kind of exciting. Um, let's use some that's uh, glow in the dark pink. This is a metallic blue. And then I have a metallic purple. Let's do a bunch of blues over here. And a, this is a sky blue. And then also in that white, I'm going to do some of this. This is a lavender. I have no idea what kind of paint this is. I think my daughter made this color. So it's just a light purple. Over on the other side, we'll go a bit darker. We'll go with some warmer colors. I'm going to use a little bit of black. And I'm kind of just doing a mod podge of colors here. I'll try to, or hodgepodge, I'll try to list them in the description, but uh, this is an Arteza iridescent orange. Oh, we absolutely need gold in here. Some gold. And I have um, some pink as well. Not a lot. Oh, really not a lot. That's a metallic pink. All right, let's do some yellow. I'm just gonna pretty much put like all the colors in here. Put some yellow in this side too. So this will sort of be warm colors versus cool colors. But they'll, they'll all mix in the end. More, I'm putting some red in there and then I'm just gonna go with some more black. So using all the colors today. <laughs> this is going to be fun, I hope. I think it'll come out pretty cool. I didn't use a lot of white, but I have that lavender in there. So here we go. So with the infinity pour, it's pretty simple. It does take a little bit of coordination. You're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth. And you can go as wide as you want or as skinny as you want. And you can do a color, of course, a combination of both. And in the end, I like to splatter because that can actually give you some really cool lines and effects. All right, that is exciting. And now we spin. I'm just spinning gently, not run too much paint off. But get it spread out. I think I'm going to do one more decent spin. And there we go. That is actually super fun. Oh my goodness. I really like that. All right. Let's let it sit for a little while. See if it, you know, moves around, develops anything else. And then we'll do our close up. All right. Here we go in for the close up. So I did put all the colors in the world in here, um, but it's mostly just really bright, pretty colors like these pinks and blues and the lavender. And then just kind of offset by the darker tones. I really like this. <laughs> So thank you so, so, so much to whoever suggested this. This was a fantastic idea. I'll definitely be playing around with this a bit more. Check down in the description for all the materials, including the link to my cups, and I will see you all next time.